photography friends. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to dive into a common problem facing many photographers, yellow and green color casts that happens when shooting in grassy and shady areas during the middle of the day. In this video, I will give you the reasons why you are getting these color casts and then I will give you step-by-step -step instructions on how to eliminate these ugly color casts in Lightroom. So let's get started. Have you ever noticed that outdoor shots taken near green, grassy, or forested areas can have a funny green tint to them? Well, you're not alone. I find this often happens in a dense green forest where light is filtering through the trees and casting a green hue onto people. Or you can have direct sunlight bouncing off of grass in front of your subject, reflecting up and then giving the person a greenish hue. To tackle this issue, I think we should first talk a little a bit about color theory. We could go a little deeper and talk about RGB versus CMY. RGB stands for red, green, blue. CMY stands for cyan, magenta, and yellow. Red is the opposite of cyan, green is the opposite of magenta, and blue is the opposite of yellow. When we have too much green, it's essentially the same thing as saying we have too little magenta. And remember, magenta is the opposite of green. Now let's jump into the solution to eliminating these ugly green color casts. And I'll show you how I do this in Adobe Lightroom. Let me show you an example from a wedding that I shot last year. And this wedding was located in a conservation area in Ontario. And there was an amphitheater in the middle of a forest. So it was a really beautiful setting, but because we were surrounded by trees, whenever the people got really close to the trees and were facing the trees, they would get like a green color cast on their skin. So I imported these in, they're all the raw files. There's been no adjustments made to them. And I'm just gonna show you this one photo in particular because there is some green, a bit of a green color cast. And I'm gonna try to remove that and show you how I do that. First of all, go to the develop module and, whoops, sorry, this is the wrong photo. I want to show you this photo. In this situation, the bride and groom, they just got married and they walked out of the amphitheater area and they walked into this little foresty pathway. So they were in the middle of the forest surrounded by trees and it was a really like sweet moment. Their dog, Pickle, came up to them and everyone was all excited, but it wasn't the best lighting situation. So I do have bit of a color cast issue going on here. As you can see, her collarbone area, I noticed there's a little bit of green collecting in this area. The first thing I want to do actually is I would like to add my basic import preset. I do that to every single photo that I edit. That's the first step. And actually this preset I'm offering for free as a download and you're welcome to download it, try it out on your photos. It, it brightens up the photos and makes some other adjustments. And if you just click on the description below, you can find a link to that preset and please feel free to use it however you like. So that's my first step, I added that preset, but it does look a little green to me. And there's a few different ways you could tackle this. One way is by heading to the basic panel and you could start fooling around with these sliders and trying your best to eliminate that color cast. I'm I'm going to go over here to this menu and I'm going to try auto and just see what happens. Sometimes this works well, sometimes it doesn't. So it's a little bit rolling the dice. Let's see, it's taking a second for it to adjust, but let's see. You know what? Actually, I think that does look better. I think it's not bad, but in some cases it does not work that well. So I'm going to return to the original color temperature and I'm going to show you something else because with these color casts, they can appear at varying intensities at different areas of luminosity of your image. Like for example, if you look in this collarbone area, it looks like a little more green here than other parts of her skin. And that is a little bit of a shadow. So I do find that these green and yellow color cuts, they do tend to collect a little bit more in the shadowy areas. So by using the tone curve, 
we can be more precise in our adjustments and we can indicate exactly what levels of luminosity we would like to adjust. So I'm going to go ahead and open up the tone curve. And as you can see here, there are three different curves in this section of Lightroom. There's the red, green, and blue channels. And having these different channels can help you eliminate these color casts really well. Essentially, the diagonal line of this curve tool represents the range of brightness values in the image. The bottom left represents the dark, while the top right represents highlights, and then the middle section represents the midtones of your image. If you look at this curve, I have the green channel selected already because I'm, I want to adjust the green tones of the image. But if you look at the curve, you'll see the green color is on the upper area, while the magenta is on the lower right area. And like I mentioned before, green and magenta are opposites. So if you add more green, you lower the amount of magenta and vice versa. So since I want to el eliminate some of the green, I'm gonna stick on, stay on this curve. And in order to make an adjustment more precise, you can use this anchor tool. So I'm going to select this um, shaded area in our collarbone because that is an area where I do see more green collecting. So I clicked on that and that made an anchor point on my tone curve. You can see it's in the middle so it is in the mid-tones. And then I'm going to use the up and down keys on my keyboard in order to adjust that tone curve. So I'm going to press the down key just a little bit, just add a little more magenta and eliminate green. Here we go. It takes a second for my computer to adjust to this, so it's a little bit of a delayed reaction, but I think it's already looking better. And I only moved that tone curve down slightly. You don't need to make a huge adjustment to make an impact. It's very sensitive. When you do this, you're telling Lightroom to reduce the number of pixels of green at that particular brightness level. I'm just going to show you a before and after the edits just to show you the difference here. So on my Mac, I press Shift Y. It's a keyboard shortcut to show before and after. On the left is before the edits and on the right is after. So as you can see, I, I added the preset to brighten it up and then I also adjusted the green channel. And I think the after looks much better. I think the skin tones look more true to life and it looks more consistent with the images that I delivered to my clients. Now that you know how to do this, you could use this method to remove any color cast. Just go into the tone curve, make an adjustment to remove the color you no longer want in the image. And there you have it. So one point I wanna make is after this wedding, everyone's all, they were all really excited. Everyone was so happy and they all just, you know, ran into the middle of the forest. And of course, I'm going to keep taking photos of that because it's like such a sweet moment, especially when their adorable dog, Pickle, came in to greet them. They were all so happy. But I remember while I was shooting, I was saying, okay, this is good. This is a great moment, but this is not the ideal lighting situation. It's kind of dark and I could tell there was green color cast on their skin, but of course I'm going to do my best to capture it because it's such a sweet candid moment and I knew that I could fix it later in Lightroom but if it was a moment where like a bride and groom portrait where I felt like I could give them some direction kind of thing I would have asked them to walk towards me and head away from the middle of the forest because if I backed up just a little bit we would have had some access to better lighting as you can see, this photo of the bride was taken a few minutes later. She walked towards me and there was like an open source of light behind me that was, it was sunlight bouncing on that neutral color ground and then bouncing onto the bride. So it was a cleaner source of neutral light, which lit her much better. So these photos, as she was leaving that little foresty area, were lit much better. So if I was going to be um, directing them and giving them some pose ideas, I would have asked them to move to a new, new location. So you can keep that in mind when you're shooting. Try to look for neutral reflectors so that you can get light on your subject that doesn't have a color cast. But if, you, if that's not possible, you can always use this trick in Lightroom. And there you have it. A solution to eliminating those ugly green color casts 
that you can get on your photos when shooting near grass and forests. By understanding color balance and using some of Lightroom's tools, we can easily eliminate those color casts. And by understanding this going forward, hopefully you can eliminate having as many color casts in your images to start with. If you found this tutorial helpful, please hit the like button and please subscribe for more content. Keep exploring, keep capturing those amazing shots, refining your skills in Lightroom. Thanks for tuning in and I'll catch you in the next video. Bye.